What is up guys, it's your boy Raven here today with another fantastic deck. Today is going to be Quagsire Naganadal deck. A deck that is getting popularity again, even though for a few months it went away, now it's coming back and it is, well, it is good. So before we're gonna start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we are only few, like okay, at least uh, around 20 subscribers away from 500 and at 500 subscribers we're gonna have a full another full art but uh an irl first place volkner uh that i've won a league challenge given away plus 20 codes so come on how cool is that right how cool is that all right ready that's a twitch by the way and let's just jump right into a deck with card by card so again uh quagsai we will be using a lot of washout right which is the ability that uh helps you rearrange a little bit uh those energy right because you can move it from one of your bench pokemon to your active so definitely will help you get uh energy on your active every single time also we're gonna play a waylord which is uh kind of the similar idea still because the deck is the same idea as uh, it was at first when he came out. You want to, you know, charge that a super splash. You want to use that towering splash with eight energy and just bam, get rid of everything in sight. But let's go card by card. So we got one Ditto, two Tedenes, uh, one Mew, of course, with Bench Barrier, a playset of Poipols and Naganadles to bring that energy back from the discard pile. Two Caldeo GX, and they are really important due to the pure heart, uh, pure heart uh, ability. That will definitely, you know, stop stop uh, your opponent's GXs from attacking. Of course, it does not stop. Uh, it does not stop the full GX of uh, Reshazad. You have to understand that. So six energy uh, attack. Again, you can play three and one the Dene. That's what we can do. I like to play two Dedanes and two Caldeos. Then one Magilord, one Vulcanion, and a line of four Whoopers, three Quagsires that are water type, and one that is a fighting type. Of course, for the Reshazad matchups, for the electric type deck matchups. Then we have four Custom Catchers, three Mysterious Treasures, two Poke Gears, four Pokemon Communications, of course, three Viridian Forests. Playset of Cynthia's, one Eric Hospitality, and the Playset of Lilies. I know not everyone loves to play Playset of Lilies, so you can actually play two Lilies and three Eric Hospitalities if you really want to. One U Turn Board and ten Energy, right? So U Turn Board, of course, uh, on Naganadal, on Mew, on anything that has one retreat cost, so we can retreat it. Uh, from the active after something gets knocked out. So that's the whole deck. The whole deck is down there below in the description. You can just copy and paste it. I'm just gonna qua gonna save the deck. I'm gonna play a few games with it, right? Shall we? Oh yes, we will. So let's just go to the deck and let's have some fun. Of course, uh, first I have to find it. There he is. Let's go. So you want to go first or you want to go second, you do want to go first. As you can see, we've got a full Raven Avatar, so no more Summer Raven Avatar. We've got a full, full version of uh, my Avatar. Okay, so Kaihan15 is calling the coin flip. I've lost, hopefully I'm gonna go first. Or am I not? I feel like I'm not. He's thinking, so I am not gonna go first. Unfortunately, because the setup is really important, right? If I can get, you know, this uh, amazing Caldeo and if he's playing GXs, well, I'm off to a good start already, but, well, I'm going second, right? So I have to start thinking. But there we go, we start with, I, you know what? I can honestly start with Caldeo. Um, I don't know what he has, but I've got Ditto, I've got Whoopa, Lily, and Energy, so I have something to work with. I, it's not really that bad. So that's what I'm going to do. So there's going to go Caldeo. <coughs> mm. Ditto. Oh, whooper. So we're preparing Naganadal. We're preparing Quagsire. We've got Lily. We've got Energy. I'm guaranteeing myself a huge, huge, huge draw. Ninkada and Ditto. Okay, so I have to be fast, to be quite honest. We've got Order Pad. Of course, he's going to go for an item. And he hits it. Like, I like the art of the order pad that, you know, you have the Rappel, you've got Ultra Ball, you know, Escape Rope. Literally almost everything that rotated out, but besides the point. <laughs> Mysterious Treasure. So what we're going to see here after Mysterious Treasure? Okay. 
Punish? Is this going to be an Eggy Slash deck? Oh my. Final hours. This Pokemon uh, is active and it's knocked out with three damage counters. Okay. So I've got a Sintian, but also I've got a Lily. And in this scenario, Lily is a lot, a lot better. There we go. Another Kaldeo, the Dene. And for the next turn, okay, so actually I have for the next turn the Dene, so I can discard. Okay. It's done. So my next turn right now in my head is energy from my hand going to Caldeo. I'm playing Naganadal, I'm playing Quagsire. I might play that Caldeo. Playing the Dene, discarding two energies, bringing energy back with Naganadal. So this would mean uh, Quagsire can move that energy to the active and start knocking out with with uh, Caldeo. So slashing color, this uh, attack damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance. All right, no. Okay, so he. Oh, okay, so he destroyed my whole plan to certain degree. Let's put it this way: to certain degree, I still have the same option. So Viridian Forest, um, Pokemon communication on Poipole, right? So on Poipol, so we're gonna have. Naganadal. No, 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 wait. Okay, so, Pokemon communication for Quagsire. That's important. Quagsire first. Because I can't make a misplay here. So, that's Quagsire. Okay. I don't really want to fix his energy status, but I'm gonna need some energy, so... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play Viridian Forest. Discard energy and get the energy. So energy is already in a discard pile, right? So I can play the energy from my hand. Can play Mysterious Treasure onto Custom Catcher. <clears throat> get Naganadal. So we've got Naganadal. So I still have the turn I wanted to have. There we go. So we still got that turn. Of course, charging up. I'm going to bring that energy back. I know I'm doing it now, I could have done it a little bit later, but I'm doing it, doing it already. Because again, I can use uh, Wash Out as often as I like. And now the Dene on top of that, so yes please, six fresh cards and let's see what we've got. Pokemon Communication and you know I'm going for Poipol, right? So we got Poipol, Poipol, there we go. Already three energies on the board. And a nice a Sonic Edge to knock out Dublade. Of course, I'm still gonna take 40 damage somewhere. I feel like you know, he's gonna deal it uh, on Caldeo, and that's what is exactly happening. Ooh, no, okay. He's attacking that Dedene. Of course, you know, before you play the Dedene, you have to think is playing the Dedene that important? Isn't, you know, this Dedene giving my opponent a win con at this point? There we go, so we've got Eggy Slash. Uh, this Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an opponent's active Pokemon. Put it into hand instead of discard pile. Okay. Uh, for each item card in your discard pile. But not more than 130, right? Yeah, you can't do more than 130, but... That is going to be... Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... That was nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's hundred. Okay, yeah, so he has a knockout on Caldeo. Alright, so he has that knockout, but it's quite okay. We've got, you know, we've got Quagsite to attack. I can play another Whooper. We've got two Nagan adults. I'm fine here. But that is definitely an interesting, interesting deck. Maybe I'm gonna play that today, during the stream, huh? Because I like the idea um, of that. Maybe, you know, we we'll just upgrade it a little bit. So down goes Caldeo. Unfortunately, down goes Caldeo. Um, am I gonna have a knockout here? I will not. 
Okay, so first things first, I have to play all I've got. I can put energy here, Poke Gear. Hit and miss. Hit and miss on that Poke Gear. Let's look at the energy. We've got energy in the discard pile. So charging up. Charging up. And a washout. So one, two, and three. I wish I had fourth. So that's gonna only be 120 damage. So not enough, to be quite honest, to knock out that Eggy Slash. But it's okay. It's all okay. Uh, we're gonna have Quexi next turn that's gonna attack for... Well, maybe not 120. But it's gonna attack for 20, which is enough. Okay, Mr. Treasure. Oh boy. Like you see, so this is the thing with decks that are, you know, winning tournaments. You can take that deck uh, online and you now see a deck that we would normally never see during any tournament at all. Like Eggy Slash. Shedinja. <laughs> and you know, this precisely now shows you that, okay, it is going to be a bad, bad, bad game. Bad matchup for me. Like, really bad. <laughs> It hurts. Okay, so Shadinja you will see during tournaments. Um, but definitely, you know, people creating or, you know, the whole thing around Quexai Nagnal was to play some other decks, not especially uh, this one here, which is going to be hard to beat. Okay. Like, I literally have nothing. Like, I'm dead drawing. So I can only, you know, charge my uh, Naga Nettles, but that's all I can do. I'm not going to go to three prize cards. Like, I'm not going to even take the prize card as my opponent is going to go and try to knock me knock me out. Okay, so that's a ram, that's a knockout, but I'm not taking any prize card. Eggy Slash comes back to the hand with everything, and oh boy. If you ever thought, you know, why you hate Shedinja, or Shedinja Egg Slash, that's exactly the reason we all, we all dislike that deck. Like, really dislike that deck. But what can you do sometimes? Alright, come on. Spell tag. Yeah, okay, I, I know he's got me, like, I honestly know he's got me. There's nothing I can do at this point right now. I just know that. So let's go to game number two. Let's play that game. Because, yeah, when Shedinja you know, starts rolling and when they have the whole combo going, I know I can't do anything. And I'm bricking, so... I knew that that was a game already. Alright, so game number two. First blue knight. If that's gonna be another Shedinja control, I'm, I'm, I quit. I quit. I quit. No, I, I think that's another, uh, that's gonna be the same deck as I'm playing, but a little bit different version, I believe, um, looking from the color pattern on that, or the type pattern on that, on that, um, deck. Okay, so we got Ditto, we've got Poipol. Mm, so I'm not, I'm not playing, uh, the second Whooper, because I have Pokemon Communication in my hand, so I know I can make it, I know, Vulcanion, I can make it Caldeo, I can make it Magilord, right? So there are ways for me to actually manipulate the board, or maybe I can just go for for a Naganadal. All right, Magilord. Oh, that is a Mook Mook deck. Oh, that is fantastic. I have not seen that one in a while. All right, so we got a buff pudding. Oh yeah, that is going to be really interesting. Especially knowing the fact that I have Caldeo. And I honestly don't think he has any counters to that. So Pokemon Communication for Caldeo. We've got Naganadal, perfect. Okay. 
So Pokemon Communication, Caldeo. There we go. So he knows he's in trouble now. And Lily. Hmm. Okay, Energy on Caldeo. So I'm gonna assume that this Whooper is going to get knocked out, right? Right. So I have my next turn two Naganadals, Quagsire, this is knocked out. And I have to find a way to get any energy and start discarding it. Like, if you like, you know, you can play Hapu with this deck, that's also not a bad idea to play. And I've seen few people using that, so... Definitely. If you're a Hapu type of guy, you can use that here. Oh, but I forgot to tell you, coffee really good. I feel like this is the best coffee out of, you know, those th last three, two weeks. Latios, alright. Oh, are we gonna see a Mew Mew? Okay, strange wave, that's 40. And he's accelerating the energy, of course. Uh, so. Let's get everything. Um, Mysterious treasure. Another Naganadal. And we're gonna play Cynthia. Not Quagsire yet. Alright, so we're done for us because I kinda need uh need the energy. Poke gear. Hmm. Is there a world ending outside? Come on. Um so I've got the Dene. You know what? Cynthia. I'm just gonna discard. Quagsire. Grab the energy. Put that energy on Caldeo and pass the turn. So on the one hand, I'm given up in terms of Whooper. I'm giving him some energy to play with. But at the same time, you know, I didn't have the enough, like, enough of acceleration. I maybe made a slight mistake of playing, you know, the Magilord. But sometimes you do what you gotta do. So he might use his GX that I can't use my GX for the rest of the game, which, again, it's, you know, it's okay, it's fine. <coughs> because I have the Caldeo here. And he can't do anything. Maybe if he's gonna play power plant, that you know that's his option definitely here. Plus he can't still attack uh, due to him not having enough Pokemon. So honestly, from like my perspective, I would rather just you know play that Starmie, let that energy flow onto Mook Mook, and that would be that would be it. Okay, so first things first. Eric Hospitality, because I want to maximize on the energy if I'm going to find one. Okay. I made a mistake a little bit, but I have a way to discard the energy, so that's good. Uh, now Naganadal. There we go. Uh, for each of your opponents, but so that's 150, that's not enough. Okay, Quagsire, Washout. Okay, uh, done. Retreat, so energy gets discarded, but Naganadal is gonna bring it back. So charging up. And slowly, Sonic Edge. There we go. 
because of course this attack damage isn't affected uh, by any any effects on our opponent's Pokemon. Come on, Caldeo. Okay, Pokemon Center Lady. Sure. Sure. I feel like Caldeo is going to be super powerful in this matchup as long as there is not going to be a power plant. Switch. Okay. So now he's doing what I thought he's gonna do earlier, Starmie. And of course, attack of Starmie actually goes through because Starmie is a uh, non-GX Pokemon. Cynthia. Let's refresh that hand. Okay, we've got another Caldeo. And there we go, he've won, like he realized that he can't really, you know, go through, uh, go through our fantastic wall of Caldeo. So guys, this is a quick side Caldeo deck for you. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it's a fun deck. It's honestly a fun deck to play. I highly recommend you checking it out. It's down there below in the description. And yeah, like Caldeo is super important for that deck. I think for any water type deck, because not every deck plays Power Plant. And if they not play Power Plant, well, Caldeo is just like. Hello, well, welcome to the party, and you and you attack with him. So thank you so much for watching that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like that, for more Pokemon trading card game decks, news, and everything around Pokemon trading card game. Also, don't forget to check me out live on Twitch. It's Raven Cold uh, from Monday to Friday, and excuse me, and you know that's where I'm playing Pokemon Let's Go, and also that's where I'm playing. Pokemon trading card game and I'm making uh, those decks. So thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye and good night. Raven loves ya. Bye.